we're now going to take the cable car from Mount Faber Top to Sentosa Island, if everything works out. <laughs> this music feels like you're in a tropical rainforest without the heat. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Good morning! So we have just taken a 10 minute taxi all the way to the top of Mount Faber and we're now going to take the cable car from Mount Faber top to Sentosa Island. If everything works out, <laughs> let's go and get some tickets. Okay, so I have to say the check-in and ticketing process was really easy. We got what is called a Sentosa Fun Pass. So we got 60 tokens each. And with that, we bought a return ticket and also uh, tickets to something called the Helix. So yeah, really nice. And now we are right now here inside and we're the only people. So I don't know if obviously you'll be able to get that when you come here, um, but maybe we got lucky, but it's quite empty. So I think it's quite new and not a lot of people know about it just yet. So we're gonna just uh, sit down and enjoy the views. And the ride is 15 minutes which is super long. Like if you compare this to the cable cut in London, which is like a minute, it's pretty nice. So yeah, here's some of the views. Hello. So next stop is what is called the Sky Helix. And we're gonna go up and we're gonna see some amazing views. Let's do it. Okay, so in the series of what I drank and eat, I've just found um, this one, this drink here, which is called Heaven on Earth, which is a passion fruit pillar, which is a passion fruit flavored tea drink. And it's really delicious. It's not too sweet. And it actually came free with our round trip ticket uh, of the cable car and the helix. So hey ho, I just got like a like orange, Fanta orange, orangey Lovely. thing. Refreshing. Because it's very, very hot right now. What I say is like 35 plus. Yeah, so, yeah. I'll say that. And I think Sentosa Island is best described as a fun-filled island that has everything for the whole family, from beaches to amusement park to nature trails to obviously rides, etc. We really loved it, but now it was time to fulfill a lifelong dream of mine. Arguably the most beautiful thing to see in Singapore are the gardens by the bay. <laughs> which is this beautiful tropical installation slash garden with these sort of artificial giant trees in the middle, a walkway that you can explore the trees from sort of halfway up. There's cloud forests, so indoor rainforest houses to discover plants, uh, animals as well. I've heard some birds and some insects, obviously lizards, everything. And it's right by the bay, that's why it's called Garden by the Bay. And you can see Marina Bay Sands uh, from here. So it's, for me, maybe the most beautiful thing here. Not gonna lie. I'll show you a bit of a sort of cut together now of what it looks like by day and also by night. So Marina Bay Sands is maybe one of the world's most famous hotels, that's what I would say. And I cannot believe Gerge and I are finally here. The views are incredible, the feeling is incredible, and so is the pool. Obviously we're not guests at the hotel, so we cannot use the pool today. But I'm going to show you now what it looks like, so come here. For the best views I have ever seen anywhere in the world, it does actually beat the Shard, which I would have said before was the best one. And whilst Gerge and I are enjoying our Singapore Sling, which is a cocktail you must absolutely try in Singapore, by the way, let me just quickly tell you that Marina Bay Sands is about 10-15 minutes walk from Gardens by the Bay. So it's a perfect itinerary for straight after. You can just book a table at Cela Vie, which is where we were, or obviously you can stay at the rooftop if you stay at the hotel, which is slightly more pricey. But if you want to treat yourself, then go for it. Okay, hello. So. We've just come to Chinatown and we've actually come here to try the world's cheapest Michelin star meal. We probably have come at a good time, so right now it's not very busy, but it is just very lovely here, yeah, right? Relaxing, like actually. incredibly relaxing. There's a lot of things to see, try and eat, experience and buy. So I do actually recommend this just for a kind of you know outing as well. There are amazing murals, so I'll try and show you a few of those or maybe have already shown you. So yeah, do plan that in your Singapore itinerary as well. I think you probably only need like a morning here or a few hours. Yeah, uh, yeah that's it. 
Can we please have two soy sauce chicken and rice? Okay. And two coconut. Sure. Okay, so both Gerge and I both agree. Chicken tastes great. It's like super juicy, not overcooked, not undercooked, it's literally perfect. The rice with soya sauce tastes like rice with soya sauce, but I think what makes it really special is the consistency of the chicken and the flavour, because it is a bit sweet. Because obviously you've got this glaze, which I would love to tell you exactly what it is, but I do not know. Obviously the glaze kind of makes it sweet, juicy, and then we've got some hot, hot chili sauce with it as well, which I'll be pouring over it. So it's very delicious for the simplicity of this dish. It's actually an experience, right? So you come here to say, I've had the world's cheapest mission So we're gonna enjoy them. Here we are, so go for it. Hey, hey guys. So I'm with Sandy today and Sandy's just gonna explore a very unique part of Singapore. We're gonna visit some of the local public housing in Singapore, yes. what we call HDBs. So just come along and join us Yay. for the journey. And what's your name? My name's P.S. <laughs> okay, right. let's go. And look, Gurch and Viraj are here as well, but they're not even listening. So let's okay. go. <laughs> All right. And the tour was held by a company called Everyday Tour Company. So I've put the link for you below if you want to do it as well. It was honestly super fun. Of course, we started with coffee or kopi, as the locals say, and we saw some amazing coffee making skills. And it was really strong and there was condensed milk, but I tried it and I kind of liked it. <laughs> and we then moved on and learned about shop houses which you can see here as well as everything social housing in Singapore. Fun fact 85% of the Singapore population lives in social housing and it's really a privilege here. You have to fulfill a long list of criteria to be accepted and what you can see here is called the pinnacle and yes this is also a HBD development building so as you can see social housing in Singapore is a pretty sweet deal. So what do we think of this view? It's amazing. So we are obviously on top of the pinnacle right now. And I do want to say this is a little bit of a hidden secret spot. I'm not going to lie. So you can, right now it's closed, but it's going to open up in the next few weeks or months. You can pay $6 at the bottom and then you can go up here and you can enjoy this view and this sort of social area here for free, yeah, for free, for $6, which obviously is not bad, especially if you compare it to other places like Marina Bay Sands, which is the most famous. But obviously in order to get up there, you have to, you know, pay a lot more or you have to uh, book a table at one of the expensive cocktail bars so yeah i want to say it's a hidden tip you know really love it up here see right now there's no one because it's literally just raining and the crazy thing is one of the best things to do in singapore is actually stay in the airport and visit jewel which is i would say a mixture of a bit of a um, you know things to do center westfield kind of shopping area and also it has the very famous waterfall 360 in the middle, which we're gonna view now. I have to say, I really underestimated this. Look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. It's actually soup, it's like magic. So yes, going to the airport and visiting the waterfall and the jewel is one of the best things to do. <laughs> it's amazing. This music, feels like you're in a tropical rainforest without the heat. 